All right, so in Metropolis, normally it's known for the humidity and being the Sahara Desert of the Midwest. Um, but we've gotten lucky so far. They've dropped the highs down into the low 90s. And when it's 90s and we're under this big mature timber, it's nice in here. These ranges, they're great. Um, I've shot this range several times, just from open A, semi-pro all the way up. And we really don't have any technical stuff uphill downhill it's really flat but what they do a good job of is different lighting so there'll be sun on a target next target will be completely shade so that's what makes it difficult they've got us bouncing back and forth so it keeps us on our toes there a little bit yeah i always get for me i always get a little bit of the first target jitters it's fun it reminds you that you're still alive so it helps but then after after this one everything seems to slow down so just try to shoot a 10 and check my number on the first one. And this one, uh, this one I was a good number. I was a little right though. Good number. With the tack veins, I love them. I run them in a four fletch, the 2.25 tack driver. And one of the main things I love about them is how stiff they are. Um, but also if you shoot a shot up bag or through a shot up target and they shoot through it, these guys straighten out almost immediately and with this heat they straighten out quickly quickly so this one has been run through the ground the target everything and it's still perfect but that's the biggest thing is how rigid they are the quiet i don't i really don't have any issues and then in a four fletch my my experience is i see less wind drift with a four fletch and that's it that's just me comparing them to a three fletch what they end up being I'll take this. Gosh dang. I knew I should have come down here to score. Jasper uh, was 10. I was a 10. You were a 10. Logan was a 12. Nice. Nathan was an 8. Oh, man. All right, buddy. Got it. Awesome. Last year was last year was fun. It was it was interesting. I saw what you did. Yeah. Kodiak was nuts. It was uh it changed me, that's for sure. That place is unforgiving. And the guys I went with are all monsters. They're so good. They're just beasts. Not quite there. Okay. Yes, sir. So on that one, I thought he was, I thought he was like 41, 42. And I was gonna run two more with that arrow in the 12 to try to jump up there. And I shaved the yard at the end and it just didn't do it. What time do you shoot? Two? Yeah. Practice went well for you. I saw you dropping bombs. Yeah, I saw you. You're shooting the wrong bow, though. Jeez. I was confused. I saw you shooting that, and I was like, what's going on with this guy? <laughs> it does. It happens to the best of us. Shoot at two. What range do you shoot? OK. Is that way over there? Oh, OK. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, I'll come watch you shoot a couple after this. For sure. A street taco? Yeah. I don't know what type of food they have here, but we had the that grade A hotel breakfast this morning. Mainly coffee and water. Mainly coffee and water. <laughs> I go for the salty eggs. That's what I go for. Yeah. I forgot to mention that in the Metropolis. I saw one the favorite thing about Metropolis is uh, whenever you're at full draw and you can see people walking back there behind you. Yeah. You Look at them. Miss. Yeah. Nothing like pressure yeah. on a javelina. <laughs> I'm not so much worried about the arrows going that direction. Yeah. The ones coming this yeah, direction. no joke. Uh, if we hear four, we know it's duck and cover. <laughs> Get you a tick. Metropolis not only has big bucks. Big ticks too. The Lord have mercy. <laughs> hey. This looks like big crawls on you. Ten. Okay. I'll take it. Nathan, can I see that spring? Dude. Yeah. Isn't that cool? And you lay it here? No. Just across. here. Yeah. 
Okay, that's what it was. Get up in there? Yeah. Okay. You can, yeah, you can get on it. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's nice. It's kind of crazy the way everybody has the releases set up differently. He's got that big old spring, and then I just take everything off just so it fits better on my, on my big hands. You shoot two but I shoot two finger, yep. Yeah, yep. More consistent, allows me to have better alignment. The way I shoot it is when I come to full draw, I will rotate it, which is essentially is I'm loading my index finger, and then I'm putting my thumb on it, and as I go, I'm relaxing, and kind of focusing, not kind of, I am, focusing on pointing this middle finger to the target. I'm exaggerating it, but if you just do that a little bit, it'll set it off, fire it. So that's how I do it. Just load that index finger, grip it, and then relax and point, and it fires. I'm going around 51. Call it upper. I'm going upward, guys. Maybe left side of it? No, just to the left. Yeah, just fired on the left. Good decision. Right yardage, right decision. Just fired a little left. 